my beautiful friends how are you are doing now let's talk about the keys we've been getting from the mini games and from the playground section of the hamster combat game there's an update from the hamster combat team if you're a follower of this channel i made a video about this i was prophesying in that video telling you guys to avoid uh getting keys dishonestly but some of you were not civil in the comment section some people attacked me for just warning against obtaining the keys dishonestly now here is this information from the hamster combat team and then i want us to look at it carefully because this is english okay it says here a few weeks ago we launched the playground section a prototype of the future hamster combat entertainment ecosystem several games having recently been integrated with hamster combat through the keys mechanism um it says here we want to clarify that keys will impact the size of the airdrop but aren't required to participate what does this mean well this is pretty much saying that whether you have keys or not provided you've been playing the hamster combat games provided you've been upgrading your cards you've been improving your profit per hour you are definitely going to participate in the airdrop that is what it's saying okay so basically this is saying that um if you have zero keys you are definitely going to participate in the airdrop but there's something very important to pay attention to okay and that's the statement here keys will impact the size of the airdrop so even though keys are not a composer requirement for you to receive the airdrop they will impact the size of the airdrop you're going to receive meaning that uh, the quantity of keys you have will affect the quantity of the airdrop you're going to receive again that simply means that the more the keys you have the higher the quantity of your airdrop allocation that is simply what this thing is saying right here okay and again if we continue it says to prevent fraud we can't review more details now this is what they're saying but we are closely monitoring key generation services and recording all artifacts obtained dishonestly so what do you think they mean by this we are closely monitoring key generation services they're basically talking about these bots and these services that provide all the 16 keys from the playground section okay all the 16 keys for the playground section that's what they're talking about and it is plain to understand that that's exactly what they're talking about and notice the next statement this will be taken into account for the upcoming airdrops now a lot of people are already panicking does this mean that the accounts are going to be banned well i don't think so but um i think the best line of action is to retrace your steps if you've been using bots to get the keys why not stop okay focus on playing the mini games get that one key and then if it is only one game you can play uh from the playground section why not play it and get four keys five keys will be enough for you okay per day instead of playing all four games okay because i wouldn't advise anybody to play all those four games because it will take a whole day to complete all of them and nobody's jobless okay you're probably busy you've got some more other important things you would uh want to do with your time okay so if you can get a max of one or four keys per day that should be enough okay if you keep accumulating them for the next one month that should be a reasonable number instead of jeopardizing your efforts all your efforts that you've been uh, putting into this hamster combat game from day one okay so, so again pay attention do not allow any youtuber or any uh, influencer out there tell you something that is negating this information here okay this will be taken into account so in my opinion what this means is if you hesitate and continue to keep using those bots those key generating services to keep generating those uh, keys where this statement here simply means that um, during the airdrop you could get disqualified or they might slash your airdrop allocation they might slash reduce drastically your airdrop allocation and you wouldn't want this to happen 
out so to avoid this just avoid those key generating services and that's pretty much it okay and then of course if you want to learn more you can see it says you can find out more about how playground works and over here they give more information about the playground section and uh, the information here is pretty much talking about the fact that they host third-party games on the playground section and they make money in terms of advertising revenue and then they use that money to pay for servers team and listing preparations okay you might want to come here to get more insight okay so this is it for this video please make sure you're subscribed and do turn on the notification bell if you've got any questions let's hear them in the comment section Air your thoughts in the comment section i would really want to know what you think about this okay but so this is it for this video this is briggs lbs and so guy can sign off for now let's go